At Penn State's Huck Institutes of the Life Sciences, we investigate life from every angle. We study life's forms at multiple scales, from nanoparticles to global biomes, and we confront life's challenges across the globe, from the farm to the city to the wild. Welcome to the Huck Institutes of the Life Sciences, collaborative discovery brought to life. The Huck uh, facilities actually exist in a total of six buildings. The new Sartoria Cell Culture Facility is the twelfth of these cores, which are available to all Penn State researchers. Our instrumentation capacities range from genomics, metabolomics, proteomics and fermentation, to high field magnetic resonance imaging, x-ray crystallography, microscopy, flow cytometry and cryoelectron microscopy. Corporate partners uh, come in to use our facilities as well because we have cutting edge technology, cutting edge research and scientists of world class caliber. One of the easiest ways to describe the Huck Institutes and its core facilities is in terms of what we don't have. It's a very short list. One area that we've wanted to take on in a bigger way at the Huck Institutes is cell culture. It's a critically important component in any modern biotechnology research. By growing cells and culture, we can expand our efforts across a wide range of fields. We can develop new drugs and genetic therapies, explore new biofuels, study the causes and effects of aging, study interactions between cells, viruses, and bacteria, and on and on. We can also study the growth of cells in large populations, including in bioreactors, where increasing production efficiency means large gains in cell-based medicines, including vaccines and new cancer therapies. Through the generosity of our corporate partner, Sartorius, Penn State's new cell culture facility will help the Huck Institute stay where we always want to be, right at the cutting edge of possibility. This is a big win for our research faculty and for our students, and we hope it will be a big win for industry too, as this facility becomes a training ground for the next generation of biotechnology pioneers.